Hello, you guys. Okay, so this is kind of an impromptu video, but I figured I would share a little like thrifting experiment with you. Um, so at a yard sale today, I actually picked up this coach purse um, for $2 and I ran the serial number and had a good look at it. I felt it was well, like 100% authentic because when I ran the serial number, it brought up this exact bag through Google. And then I actually went through a resource which I'll link down below for you. It's free, it's a Facebook group. So it's not like an official authentication like that you would pay for but it is a Facebook group that's run by a lovely group of ladies that is basically all they do is authenticate items and coaches one of those brands that they authenticate and they took a look at this and said that they also thought that it was 100% authentic so um two dollars is what I paid for it and uh it's got a little bit of wear to it so that's what we're going to be experimenting on you can kind of see on the back here towards the bottom there's some pen marks right and um, there's a bit sort of discoloration here and there, but mostly the biggest culprits are those little pen marks, just a little bit of marks and then some wear to the lining and stuff. Um, so I figured what I would do for $2, my experiment is to see if I can get those pen marks out of the leather. I've never done this before, but again, $2. At the end of the day, if I ruin it, then I'm not really out any money. It'll be fine. But I may learn something and I figured that I would share that with you too. So I Googled it. We're in my bathroom, if you can't tell, in my master bathroom because I have access to a sink and stuff. And I Googled it and I basically picked the top three that kept coming up when I was looking at it of how to clean ink marks out of um, finished leather. This is finished, it's all smooth, it's not unfinished or raw like a suede. So therefore I should hopefully be able to do something with it. And uh, so there's three things that I'm going to do. So this is gonna be a really, really like raw and real rough video. Bear with me, no editing and all that. But I'm gonna start with Blue Dawn. That was the first thing. So basically soap and water and I'm gonna just massage it and see if that will lift at all. So that's number one. And then number two is a uh, hairspray. So I have some hairspray over here. Um, so a little bit of this basically on like a cotton bud and then just very, very gently sort of dabbed on and like smoothed in. And um, again, it's kind of on the bottom of the bag. So I feel like I can do this and be fairly inconspicuous. Like it's not gonna necessarily ruin it completely. But again, if it does, it's okay. I'm not gonna worry too much. And then my third one is the cotton bud method again, but with, I don't have rubbing alcohol. <laughs> um, I thought I did, I don't. So the nearest thing I've got is a hand sanitizer, but I double checked and this is talked about quite a lot as well. Um, and it is 70% alcohol. So that is what they kind of said with the rowing alcohol is it had to be at least 70%. So plenty of this on hand right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. So let's start, I'm gonna kind of like try and prop you up and do this, like I said, really casual, no sort of editing or anything like that. Just kind of testing something out and I figured why not share it with you guys? So let's see what we can do here to kind of prop you guys, you guys up. I know that this is super weird being in the bathroom and stuff like that, but we'll see. Okay, so I have my purse right here. <laughs> Maybe I can lift this up just a little bit. There we go. Purse right here. And like I said, we're gonna go ahead and start with the Blue Dawn. So I'm gonna get a little bit of water on here. I know Blue Dawn can get just about anything out. It's kind of crazy in that way. So I'm gonna kind of activate it, if you like, with a little bit of cool water. And then I'm just gonna come in on the little spots and see what I can do in terms of really cleaning the whole thing, but really kind of, oh, one just lifted. It was right here and one of the little marks just came away. Okay, so I'm gonna just like grab you guys and hopefully be able to show you as I do this in case it happens with anything else. So bear with me here. <laughs> This is not, this is not my normal way of filming. Okay, so let's look at this guy right here. Let's see what we can do. Oh my days, did you see that? It's gone. Wow, blue dawn for the win. Okay, this one, not, not as much as the other ones, but I reckon I could give this whole thing a little bit of a clean and see what all maybe lifts. Okay, this one, not so much, so. I actually think I can see that better now, so maybe this was a little bit dirty, I'm not sure. But that's okay, if we can get even some of the lighter marks that haven't soaked in off of here and just kind of give the whole thing a nice clean. I'm sure some people are kind of cringing here because it's leather, obviously, but like I said, it's a $2 investment and this is really more of a learning experience than anything else because sometimes you just have to give it a go. Okay, so I feel like we've kind of gone over this a little bit. I'm gonna press a bit harder and see if that helps at all. Sorry, I know this is not the usual like polished quality of a video, but you know, sometimes you just gotta get stuck in, don't you really? 
All right, so I feel like, you know what? I already feel like that color and stuff sort of lifted quite a bit though. I'm quite happy with that. So let's flip it over. And this is where the big offenders really are over here. So let's just kind of like get some of this on there and see, see if we can do anything at all. And if not, it's not a problem. I haven't quite decided if, if this comes out a little bit and it's sort of, you know, becomes a little bit of a better quality and stuff in terms of its condition, I would definitely look at selling this. And if not, you know, I could always, if I wanted to keep it as a personal piece or just redonate it and someone will find a coach bag for, you know, just a few bucks and hopefully they'll be happy too. So let's see. Okay, I don't think we're getting a lot of lift here. Yeah, I'm gonna spin you around for a second. Sorry, I hope I'm not making you sick. And I'm gonna just kind of give it a little bit of elbow grease and I'll let you know if any of it kind of lifts a little bit more. It's kind of hard with one hand. But like I said, let's just let's just see if we can do anything. I've actually never really treated leather like with stains and stuff before. I've given things a wipe down or gone over with like the Doc Martens Wonder Balm that you can buy. Uh, so I know that much, <laughs> but I haven't really sort of attempted to rescue things, usually because I feel a bit too precious over them. You know, if I've invested in them and then found a flaw, whereas this being so cheap to pick up, not overly precious with it, really. All right, so this, the Dawn is definitely not picking up all of the pen marks. However, I do think it's lightened here and there. I have to say, I'm, I'm, you can see on here, it, it's definitely picking up some ink. Can you see that, like the blue and things like that? So it's definitely doing something, like you can kind of see. I know that some of the blue is dawn, but some of it, like all that darkness, um, that is some of the, I, what I'm guessing is ballpoint pen um, actually lifting up there. So, feel like it's doing something maybe a bit more elbow grease with this is really what we need and if nothing else is definitely kind of bringing it back to life just a little bit and giving it a good clean from being at the yard sale it's always disappointing isn't it when you have a nice bag or something you end up with pen on it but at least it's on the back slash the bottom so it could have been worse for them I suppose is kind of some discoloration down the bottom there if you can see just kind of general i guess but maybe they tried to clean it at one point and it didn't go as planned i don't know okay so i think this is as good as it's getting with the dawn that's my personal opinion so i think what we might try to do is move on to the next one that we're going to be kind of experimenting with so what did i say the hairspray and right, i got some trusty q-tips here which is always useful uh, thrifting and things like that for cleaning and you know just stuff like that really so I guess what it said on the internet what it said on google is basically coat one of the tops of it and just kind of like massage it on so I guess I guess that's what we're going to try and do we're just kind of flying by the seat of our pants here really let's start down the bottom where it's a little bit less conspicuous so I'm just going to kind of like pop it on and see if it helps it disappear at all. I don't know if there's a way that I can kind of show you as I do it. Let's let's go for this one here that we can both kind of see and see if we get anywhere. I already feel like it's dried, but yeah, so I'm actually seeing some of the color coming off of the leather there. So that's telling me that it's probably not reacting very good, is it? If it's actually lifting some of the color, I probably want to be really, really careful. However, it does seem to be lightening the pen mark a little bit. So that's interesting. I guess we kind of like try it and see how it goes and just kind of, oh, I don't know really. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely lifting some on the leather. It's definitely doing a little bit of, of damage there with the hairspray. So this is, like I said, it's a finished leather. I don't know if I can show you very well. It's kind of like this spot right in here, but it is kind of changing the color ever so slightly to it. So I think that's maybe gonna be more so doing the damage. I'm actually gonna just give it a little wipe with our wet cloth there. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna keep going with the hairspray because I don't think that that is what is like working appropriately on this one. So having said that, let's try the hand sanitizer and see like the alcohol base, I should say again, 70%. And this is like I said, in lieu of having rubbing alcohol, which I don't have to hand and I couldn't find anywhere. Uh, Target did not have any in stock, so there we go. 
So let's look for another little bit here and see what all we can do and if there's anything that we can do. So far the dawn is winning. Um, I just imagine that where it's like a little more saturated is potentially uh, where uh, it's not lifted as much. But I wonder if I did a bit more elbow grease with that, would I get like, you know, even more results? I I'm not sure really. Okay, yeah, I'm, uh, again with the rubbing alcohol, I'm seeing some of this colour lifting here. It's like a nude colour. So I really don't think anything alcohol based, which would be really, yeah, which would really be both the hairspray and the uh, sort of alcohol sanitizer or rubbing alcohol, whatever. Um, I'm thinking that the alcohol based stuff is really not appropriate for this. So I don't, I don't think we're gonna get any further with this. Now what I may do is go ahead and redo the dawn and maybe use it like a little bit of a, a heavier solution with the blue dawn because I don't see anywhere where that has caused any kind of damage to it. Um, so I feel like I could really get stuck in there with, like I said, a little bit more elbow grease and see if there's anything else I could do to lift it. But if I can just kind of bring you over and maybe show you the effects of the alcohol here. Um, we have, it's like right here, if you can see it all. And right here, it just almost looks like just a little patch that has less of this metallic to it. So maybe that's something I should have over, you know, looked closer at, is the fact that there's almost like a metallic finish to this particular nude leather. And that's kind of come off here. And I actually think that the pen marks are more acceptable than having like little strange little like nude ball patches on the leather. That's just my personal opinion and stuff, but I think that I'm not as bothered, especially because like I said, it really is at the back and then a little bit on the bottom. It's not so much on the actual front of the purse. Um, so with that in mind, some of those did lift, which is nice, so I think, I think that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna to go to elbow grease and dawn and I'm gonna shy away from the alcohol based methods. At least with this piece, I may try them on another piece, like some like black leather shoes or something or something, I don't know, we'll see. I've used them on leather soles before on shoes and that is, it either works wonderfully or it's a complete hodgepodge. So it's kind of touch on go, which is why you should always test a little area first, like an inconspicuous area. But this is the point where I ask you to put any suggestions down below. I may even come back and try again if I get enough like suggestions or ideas. Maybe just like using this piece again as an experiment, come back and test some of those methods out so you can kind of see uh, through me a little bit exactly what may work for ink marks on leather. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Hopefully it's a little bit more exciting than what's happening with my weekend here. What What is this? I don't know. Saturday night. Woo. Um, but yes, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and come back and hang out for more thrifty content. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, you guys.